Hey there! If you love alioe olio, let me teach you a little something new today. In this video, I'll be showing you how to cook alioe olio in. But did you know that alioe olio can be cooked in three different ways? Well, stick around to find out which of these three ways will be your favorite. Also, at the start of the video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple and long-lasting alioe olio base that you can keep in the freezer or chiller for months. Let's go. Then first, we get some garlic peeled and remove the bottoms of it. Now, I know this task takes a lot of effort and time, but if you put in the effort now in a big batch, it will help you save time in the future. Next, grab a weighing scale and calculate 5% of the weight of the clean and peeled garlic. The 5% will be your salt weight to mix with the garlic, and this will act as a preservation for you giving the garlic a longer shelf life in the chiller or freezer. Then, Put the salt and garlic and blend it in the food processor till it gets a finely chopped texture like this. Transfer the chopped garlic into an airlock container, followed by covering it with good extra virgin olive oil. The oil will help to prevent the air from touching the garlic, which will help to delay the garlic from spoiling. So do take note that it is very important to mix it well to prevent any air pockets in between of the garlic pieces. Once you're done mixing it well, lock your container and you can keep for up to a month in the chiller and even 6 months in the freezer. But before we proceed, we need to prepare the parsley for garnish and taste first. Italians use flat parsley, but since I couldn't find it in my area, so I just got the English parsley, the curly one. Now, let's make aglio e olio pepperoncino. First off, grab a frying pan and don't forget to on the fire. Take a teaspoon and a half of salted garlic in oil and put it into the pan. Add extra tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now it is important to cook your garlic here, not burn it. Once it is cooked, add a generous pinch of salt into the oil and garlic. In the meantime, you need to bring a pot of water to a boil. No need to salt it. Then add your pre-cooked pasta into the boiling water and heat it up for 10 to 15 seconds. If you want to learn how to pre-cook your pasta, you can refer to my very first video on YouTube. The link is in the description box below. Now back to the aglio olio. Remove pasta from water and toss it into the cooked garlic mixture. Stir and toss it and cook for 30 seconds. Finish off with a generous pinch of chili flakes, then it is ready to serve. Aglio e olio pepperoncino is done. Second pasta, we will be doing aglio e olio with colatura. If you do not have Italian fish sauce, feel free to use the Asian ones. I found that the Korean anchovy sauce is the closest tasting to the Italian colatura. And same drill, grab a pan, on the fire, add the garlic and extra oil. Some pasta water, but now here is the difference. Add a tablespoon of Italian fish sauce here to season your aglio olio. Wow, I wish you could smell through the screen. It smells so delicious right now. Anyway, just a disclaimer, mine was slightly under seasoned when I cooked this. But please do not be afraid, give it a generous spoon of fish sauce. It will taste better. Then add the pre-cooked noodles, stir, toss, and plate. Aglio e olio with fish sauce, colatura, it is done. Now, the last pasta. We will be making aglio e olio with parmigiano. It's super tasty and everyone likes. You know the drill by now. You need a pan, fire, garlic, oil, and pasta water. Then add a two finger pinch worth of salt into the base to season the first layer. Then same thing, add the pre-cooked pasta, stir, toss, and serve. But wait, we missed something. We need to freshly grate parmesan straight onto the pasta. Mm -mm -mm, look at those cheese falling onto the noodles. Amazing! 
and voila, this is done. And so today, we have learned three different alioe olio recipes that you can try to make at home. It is simple and easy. And if you learned something today, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video every Thursday. Thank you for watching. Ciao!